So this video is going to be on the basic layout and how to move channels around and create up setups on the Avantis the way you like it. Uh, if this is your first time the Avantis, you obviously have a left and right side of the console. You can do whatever you want with either side. You can set them up in any way and have mixtures of inputs and outputs and masters and all sorts of things. It's very, very configurable. And each side has one, two, three, four, five, six different layers that you can move between and you can set these up in any way you want. If you move up slightly, Noah, you can see the channels change as I move through the layers. So how do we configure these layer buttons? That's really the question that this video is all about. We'll stay on this side if that will work for you. Um, you go to uh, Setup and under Control, Strip Assign. And if I pick a layer, right now I am on layer A of the left side of the console. This is actually what channels have been assigned to that, each of these individual strips. And it's as simple as drag and drop. You can go through and pick different types of channels. So IP for inputs is our default there. And in banks of 1 through 32 or, 30, or 6, 33 through 64. And it's as simple as dragging a channel down and I've just put my base input on channel one and you can see there it turned purple because the base went there so it's really simple to drag and drop what you want you can it's very intuitive you can pull things away that you don't want you can do block select where you pick a whole bank of things and drag them down that's pretty cool um, and to move as you're setting up multiple layers of course this side of the console has these uh, six layers, you can either move between layers with the layer buttons while you're assigning, or you can move them with these buttons, and you've got the left side and the right side of the console you can both configure. So you can configure both sides of the console from this screen, or you could have two people, one configuring the left side on their side, while somebody else over here is configuring the right side. So it's very intuitive. There is one last button that's worth mentioning, lock master strips. Let's actually move over to the right side of the console now. This is kind of a cool, when you do this, this locks these last four faders to be, um, to not change with the layers. They're locked in place. So a lot of people may want to set up a master fader or some master, uh, uh, some form of master faders over here on, you know, oxes or whatever. You can have them locked in place. And again, that feature is under setup. Lock master strip. So you may like that, and you may not, not like that. One other thing to show you over here on the left side of the console, there is a freeze button. A freeze button lets you select an input that you don't ever want to move. It's kind of like the lock master strips, but you could pick this first input here. I'm holding freeze down. I've just frozen the base. So regardless of what has been programmed on that layer, the base always stays there. And that'd be a good thing for your money channel. Maybe you want to have your lead vocal never move. You can just quickly lock. Or if you don't want it frozen, you can unfreeze it and go back to the way it was before. Cool. Excellent. I think that video probably enough to get you to set up your console. Have a great day.